<sighs> a brand new day begins at the Abbey. Wonder what today has in store for us. Many things, it seems. Hey, hello. What do we got here? Some stuff. Um, got people to talk to down at the forge. Okay, that's that's where I'm at. What's going on? Hunter? Yes? Hello? Can I ask you a question? If I said no, would that stop you? Probably not. Like cubes you eat. <laughs> you mean tofu? Yes. Yes. Do you not eat meat? What I eat is none of your business. I've never seen tofu before. I was curious. You should ask someone else. Is tofu all you consume? My turn for questions. What do you eat? Meat. Whatever makes me feel good. Maybe I'm the same way. It's just called something different. And which is? is? I don't know why it's so important to you, but it's called veganism. This is between me and you. Got it? I know where you sleep. Okay, I didn't say anything. All right. Message from Doctor Strange. Shreeds. It is difficult to surprise and delight a Sorcerer Supreme, but you continue to find a way. A revelation struck me today, and I find the need for quiet reflection in the chapel. Not too quiet, of course. I would appreciate some light conversation. Okay, that sounds lovely. I will see you shortly. I almost sent my astral form to cover more ground. That means you were trying to ghost me? I caution against speaking in modern vernacular as it rapidly evaporates from the pool of youthful lexicon. Then magic will say you are uncool. Unfathomable. Hmm. According to magic, we are besties now. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Our last conversation afforded me valuable insight into my current state of being. Your continued confidence and honesty with me have rekindled some of my own belief in myself. Well, that's good to hear. The Sorcerer Supreme is a role only one mortal in a generation can hold. Fancy titles impress the illusion of rank upon the world, but that's all it is. A name for one who understands much and yet so little at the same time. I am merely a man with a very useful set of skills who worked to fill a niche. I will light a beacon every step of the way. The doubt never crossed my mind. You have my gratitude, Hunter. Perhaps the Sorcerer Supreme could conjure me up an ice cream cone? Due to Stark's contractual obligations, I can only offer Avengers-themed flavors. Nobody needs the caloric marvel that is Hulka Hulka burning love. A single scoop is a meal unto itself. Hunter, no matter what the outcome of our struggle is, you have not given up on me. That is a bond that carries beyond words and worlds. Mm. Of course, Doctor. Uh, wouldn't have it any other way. You tire of listening to Doctor Strange's stories? The ones where multi tentacled old ones feasted on cavemen? Nah, actually, that sounds up my alley. I just needed some fresh air. Plus, Robbie likes to crank the volume on his video games, and I don't like loud noises. Right. Yeah. Costume is sensitive to powerful sonics. You know, it's funny. My other has protected me from so many things over the years. Sometimes, pushes away more than just bullets. Mm. Maybe it is the teeth? <laughs> of course it's the teeth. 
Uh, but they're useful. I've chewed my way out of a number of sticky situations. They must be a pain to brush. Eh, I have acidic saliva, which instantly kills most bacteria. <laughs> Gingivitis doesn't stand a chance. So your other's appearance is functional, but is it necessary? Maybe not. I'm not the only person who bonded with my symbiote. The suit often changes appearance with each new host. Hmm. Have you ever considered adopting a new look? I could probably change my appearance, but the truth is, I like being intimidating. It makes me feel powerful. I am learning that the man behind the mask is less intimidating. It sounds a bit like an after-school special, but thanks, Hunter. Just don't tell Parker. Or, actually, don't tell anyone. You and your symbiote have an interesting relationship. It's simultaneously the strangest relationship I've ever had. As well as the most comforting. Thanks for talking about mm. it, Hunter. I don't think everyone inside would take the time to understand how I tick. Of course, Eddie. You got it. Uh, oh. Oh. We also have a message from Morbius. He also wants to hang out, so let's go meet him. What were you reading, Doctor? One of those political spy thrillers Captain Rogers is always heads down in? It's actually a medical journal on bi-specific antibodies and the treatment of hematologic malignancies. Just some light reading. I see. Light reading? That book looks heavy enough to split open a coconut. Most of my light reading is actually quite dense. <laughs> uh, I guess that is a bit of an oxymoron. Doctor, do not be so hard on yourself. You are not stupid. Oh, no. I wasn't disparaging my intelligence. I, I meant... Relax, Doctor. As Robbie would say, I am chest messing with you. Oh, of course. Yes. I'm not used to having someone to joke with. It's been a long time since I had anyone to call a friend. In truth, I've been in survival mode so long, I don't know where to find my own off switch. Hmm. Just know your limits. When you burn a candle to its ends, the light quickly fades. Your concern is noted, Hunter. I won't overdo it. Well, I should get back to my studies. Medical journals do not read themselves. But I'm working on that. Alright. Good luck with that. All right, time for a little counterattack. They are causing trouble. Let's take them down. That seems reasonable. I really made an impression on them. You have been Come on, come on. There we go. An eternity of suffering awaits. Excellent. Are we 
by Blade? I doubt this will take much longer. You've still got some time. Tear them to shreds. So Is this what you had hoped for? Stop you. That's lame. Let's do it again. There we go. That's more like it. Forever in service. 
Hey now. As much as I like killing bad guys, sometimes enough is enough. You should be pleased with the time is almost up. Do as much as you can. No one is to blame but yourself. Feel invigorated. Every little bit helps. Come on, guys. Can't handle you. We need more. The more the merrier. There we go. That's what we've been looking for. This ends either way. All right, not bad. Twenty one defeated. Not great, but not bad either. So, yeah, we've done it. Excellent work. Not bad. Another successful mission. Uh oh. Hmm. Sup, ancient one. Who do we hang out with? Alright. Pale skin goes with everything. Deadpool. But black is best. It's been a while since we hung out. Let's talk. Um I'll play cards. Don't you ever get tired? <sighs> of what? You know, being responsible for everything. Surprised your poor back hasn't broken yet with all that pressure. Well, maybe, sometimes. It can be stressful, but it is part of the role we play as heroes. I didn't know hero meant chump. No offense, uh, but I'm not bending over backwards for free. Everyone has their own reason to keep going. Mine is cold hard cash, but that still doesn't change the fact that our job is harder than me at a katana store. Just hearing the word hero makes me want to walk into oncoming traffic. It is not that bad. Says the poster child of heroism, haven't you ever fantasized about leaving it all behind? I have 
thought about it. Of course you have. There's no shame in it. Take it from me. I fantasize all the time. Most of it isn't PG, so it stays inside the pants. There is no use what? in wanting something I cannot have. Now you sound like you're in a teen romance flick. What you're feeling is normal, Hunter. We've all thought about ghost in this lifestyle. That is... reassuring. Thank you. Now, if you ever want to, uh, elope, you know where to find me. Grrr. Right. I'll keep that in mind. Um, here you go. This for me? Uh-oh, I feel a tear coming. No need for tears. Just a gift. All right. It's been more of a protective day this time around. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Good night, Charlie. Sleep well. <laughs>